Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you why the heart you are craving is also craving you and what you can do to manifest it and bring it into your life right now. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another episode of BernMendez.com. One of the common themes that I see among the many women who reach out for help and that I have the blessing of helping is that feeling that what they want is something foreign to the men they crave. So here's what I mean. Imagine that there is a man out there who is crying himself to sleep every now and then, just like you are, who is feeling unmet, unseen, unheard, loved in not the way he needs to, but in a way that has just come about. Maybe he's attempted to find you, but he hasn't. Somehow, some way, he hasn't been able to connect with you, but the yearning for your unique flavor, for your magic, for your medicine, if you want to call it, is still there in his heart. He does not know how to manifest it, just like you don't know how to manifest it. So what I want to do today is first acknowledge and let you know that this is true, that when you cry yourself to sleep, knowing that or feeling there has to be greater love out there that there's greater love out there who's feeling the same way and missing what you could bring about now if we establish for a moment let's say i'm crazy but imagine for a moment that what i'm saying is true that there really is at least one human being in the periphery of where you are where you live who's needing you then the question becomes how can you connect with them how can you create that feeling that will enable him to step up and do whatever it takes to on your heart. I want to share with you a few things. The first one is the biggest thing I could share with you about this man is that he is craving. He's dying to be seen and felt. He's dying to be experienced in a way that maybe you can bring about, maybe, maybe your vision of who he is, maybe your acceptance, maybe your openness. Maybe your unconditional love, maybe all of the above, but just like you are craving to be seen and felt, he's craving the same thing. Here's the slight difference. He doesn't have the language sometimes to express it. Sometimes based on biology and also based on how we educate men and women, this man that you're searching for might not fully understand what it is to be seen and felt. He doesn't even know there's such a thing. He just knows sometimes it feels so good when he's in presence of someone, in the presence of a woman who he feels alive and lit up and excited and he doesn't know why it's happening, but it's happening. And you have the language right now, at least even just through listening to this video, but you already had it inside. You, you, you know that there's a hard connection that sometimes is missing in your experience and that's the same thing he's missing, but he's learned one more thing in his life. He's learned that he shouldn't need it. He's learned that he should be a man and kick ass and take names and he shouldn't need that love in the way that you can provide it for him. So it's much more acceptable for you to say I want and crave love than it is for him. I'm not making excuses for him, but that's how it works. So just have that in the back of your mind when you connect with him that he doesn't even know what he needs in terms of that feeling. And it's sometimes unacceptable for him to, to experience it. Second thing that I can share with you that this man wants is he is craving to be good to you. He's craving to be a strong man in such a deep way that he can win by making you smile, by making your life better, by making your life more meaningful, by removing the burdens of your back. Now, am I saying that this is all men? No, but more men than you could possibly imagine have that feeling inside that they want to provide emotional connection. They want to provide anything that they can to bring a woman into a state of excitement into a state of safety so just know that when you connect with them have that in the back of your mind have that in your heart now what do you do about it let's say you find a man and you feel there's an each inside of you that says he could be the one who knows maybe he is maybe he isn't you remember what I shared with you he craves to be seen and felt and he yearns to be good to you now what you do if you want to test if he could be the one is you meet him at the heart and don't let him get away with anything other than meeting him at the heart. 
I'm gonna simplify this as much as possible, make it practical. You connect with them, you're at a bar, a restaurant, you're social uh, distancing, connecting through Zoom, whatever it is that you're doing. I'm not sure when you'll listen to this video, maybe years from now, and it applies that maybe people are out there and <laughs> doing cool things in the world again. But whatever it is, when you have a visual of him, and you're connecting and you're talking and he's getting away with being here and beating his chest and stating and asking questions that have nothing to do with anything meaningful, anything substantial, anything that makes both of your hearts sing. The moment you feel that, the moment you understand that he's doing that, you do whatever you can to connect to his heart. And you might be asking a question that allows him to stop his pattern of thinking and behavior and all of a sudden, there's a lowering of the guard, or maybe your energy, maybe your heart, maybe your smile, maybe the way you move is so strong and so powerful that you disarm him and he's able to go deeper into what you want and what you need by virtue of having felt you first. So I'm gonna save you a lot of pain in your life. If you hear this, you might be better off than the majority of women attempting to connect with men. If there is no heart connection, there is nothing. If you guys don't find a way to connect to each other's heart, and you might start by you opening yours if he doesn't know how to do it in that context or if he's afraid of doing it and you've had more practice, open your heart and allow him to not get away with just the whatever BS conversation he was having, whatever agenda he had, let him feel there's something that pulls him and makes him be present. Okay, second thing I want you to do is now that you've ha you have his attention, he knows something's happening. He doesn't know what it is, but something's happening. He's feeling it. Now you open your heart, you relax even more, and you let him come get you. What does that mean? Let's be more practical. Uh, you have this conversation, you connect to his heart. Once that connection is felt, then you let him step up. You allow him to share more of what he was going to share now. You allow him to be a little more vulnerable. You allow him to share more of his vision of the world. And then you let him come to you is you are open, you ask questions, you connect, you let him be, you see him for who he is. He feels a couple of things is gonna, is, are gonna happen. He's either going to feel a greater sense of, wow, I was here walking in the street, now I'm dancing in the top of a building with strobe lights and it feels amazing. He might have that feeling. If he has that feeling, he'll continue and you let him. If he doesn't have that feeling, if he doesn't want to go forward, if he wants to close his heart even more because he's deadly afraid, that you are going to take over him and control him because now he needs you, right? If he feels that way, if he's really reluctant to do it, again, something is going to save you a lot of pain in your life. You move on. You thank him for allowing you to practice openness and you move on. And guess what's going to happen? If he is doubtful or if he recognizes that the only way to you is through heart, then he might have to lose you to wake up. But if he doesn't, then you are not gonna make the mistake so many women make trying to convert him into a man that he's not, trying to coach him, trying to give therapy to him, trying to be the guy's mentor. Like, don't do that. I mean, it's important to open, it's important to connect, but once you open, once you connect, if he doesn't wanna go the distance, let him not go the distance. Okay, if he does, dance with him. Yeah, you're now metaphorically at this top of this building, dancing with strobe lights, it's feeling, dance with him, connect with him, enjoy it. Next thing I need you to do is once you have that feeling, that momentum, both of you know something's up. Both of you know that there's heartfelt. Both of you know there's attraction. Both of you know there's a possibility of some spiritual connection that goes beyond the moment. Then what I need you to do is share your needs directly. So many of the problems men and women encounter are when they are unable to state specifically what they need. So that means that instead of trying to nuance the fact that you don't want to sleep with him that night, you look at him in the eyes when he says, let's go to my place or your place, and you say, this is so important to me. This is so meaningful that I, want, I don't want to mess it up. And it's going to take longer than just one dancing in the top of a building for us to have sex. So. I invite you to get to know me. I invite you to connect with me. I invite you to create friendship. And then if we develop into something greater, if we develop into something that's exclusive, then let me open up and have sex with you. But in the meantime, I'm not going to, not because I don't want you, not because I don't find you attractive, but because I need more than an immediate connection to go there. And then 
you share your needs directly, right? That's different than saying, well, I don't know right now, I'm not feeling good, I have a headache or whatever. Just state your needs. The guy who has the capacity to grow with you will go with you. The guy who's feeling, no, the only way I can do this is if I test the waters and we sleep tonight. That's not the guy you want. Why? Because if you're looking to create a devotional relationship with a man that's going to stand for the test of time, the last thing you want to do is say yes to the guy who doesn't want to even put in a two or three months of work. How's that going to work for the rest of your life? Okay? The last thing I can share with you is once that's happening, once that you express your needs directly, I, I, both of you, this is not just you, both of you need to refuse to accept nothing but the best in both of you. That doesn't mean you're not empathetic, that doesn't mean that you don't forgive, that doesn't mean that you, but you don't make the whatever pain is in the relationship the default. You solve it, you open, you, you change it, you, you, you ask him for his best and you express your best to him. I know this seems somewhat abstract. Some of you will get this directly in your heart and that's who I'm speaking with. I, I wish I could come up with something slightly more practical in nature, but the truth is, what I'm speaking to you right now is more energetic. It's more outside the little box of uh, here's a text message you sent and here's, here's what you respond when he says that. I, I get that you're an intelligent woman. I get that you don't need that kind of shit to actually get your life where it needs to be. So I'm not going to pander to that stuff because it's not what you're looking for. What I'm asking you to do is to open and play and meet him at the heart and don't let him get away with anything other than that. But if he does want to get away, then don't chase him. Move on. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. On the first link on the description of this video, there's a way for you to connect with me. Uh, but there's, a, there's a class that I created that you can just start watching and, and give you more details, more step-by-step -step if you want that, as to how you can enter a meaningful relationship. It will also put you on my email list, which means I'll be able to send you messages that are meaningful, that allow you to understand where you are and what you're doing and how to change out of it. And if you ever decide, you know what, I want more than videos, I want to work with you, there's also going to be a link, uh, a way for you to connect with me and perhaps ask to see if we're a good fit to work together. If you like this video, click like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart. I hope this message resonates with you and I wish you an incredible day understanding that you have in your heart the tools you need to create the connection that you want.